All right, welcome back to part four of this quick little series about going out of bounds, thanks to, uh, you know, some <laughs> enhancers on the PC version of Resident Evil 4. But anyways, so we are on chapter 10, I believe. And, uh, you know, apologize, uh, my computer can only do so much. It is what it is. <laughs> A little bit ambitious with some of this projects. Well, the good thing about doing this ahead of time is that we don't have to worry about... ...worry about doing um, this entire section right here. Which can be a pain. Alright, keeping a lookout for any drop frames. Okay, so what hap- ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. What happens if I enter this building? Okay. Uh, some of the items that were on the table, or that are on the table, are there. Okay, looks like I definitely broke the game. Yep. I broke the game. Looks like we're going to have to do a restart. Yeah, some of this stuff is pretty dangerous, uh, depending on how... on how far you go out of bounds. So I'm going to try to see if I can get back in bounds. If that's even a possibility. Nice. Okay, so this is right at the entrance here because of that ammo there. I don't believe I can open the door anymore. There's the flash grenade, there's the bolts, there's a knife, I believe. So what happens if I go into the throne room? Noted. Okay, so this is still pretty bad because I... I can't necessarily see where I'm at. It's a ladder. Okay, to be honest with you, I was really hoping for, uh, for this to <laughs> reappear, this entire section, but yeah, I have no idea where I'm at, so let's go ahead and we'll try it, we'll see what, where the quick save puts us, I'm assuming that it should put us down below.
Nice. I wonder if I can sell these. This is super dark. Just avoid anything else from breaking. I'm going to hit the triggers like normal. Oh, give me a break. Just in case that's needed. So much for the, so much for the stones, but. Oops, I was about to say, I was like, I think this is a walkable surface. And it looks like the elevator that I'll see if I can try to take early. But this is where Verdugo is always like running around and stuff like that in. So I, this is very interesting. I would say so far my, my favorite uh, thing that I found out was Ashley able to wield weapons and that you can buy them and it's completely different um so i really don't know how the game checks that but i was really pumped about the the last part so um hopefully we don't have any issues issues with this guy even though i can play this normal you know for the most part but what happens if I go to this elevator?
Okay, I just completely skipped that entire section. Hold on. Let's see. Let us go. Let's go back really quick. Because I'm curious to see, like, um, if I get into that room early, what would happen? I'm gonna forego those that treasure and stuff. This guy I can get. Oh, I went too far. Once more, but let's make sure that we're correct this time. I'm curious to know what will happen if I completely... Um... Let's see. If I explore that area without being there just yet, could I shoot the TNT? I gotta avoid the door, so let's go up here. Apparently, I can... <laughs> I gotta be careful. Okay, so this loaded in. Yeah, I'd be very careful because I don't want it to be completely gone, but it's really interesting that this area is loaded. Um, Why not treat you so? What happens if I talk to him? Welcome. Okay, he works perfectly fine. That's interesting. You know what? I should. I was gonna save in this area, but I don't know if that'll be a good a good thing to do. Okay, we're definitely in the boss arena. much so i will tell you that i did run to the end of the cart section one time um I'll, I'll explain it just because it was like 40 minutes or close to it of just running around so uh speaking of running around okay there it is
Uh, this area has a little bit of some treasure. We can explore really quickly. So I did run around in that entire cart area. I was able to run towards the end. All right, these guys are rendered in. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to skip the treasure and all that stuff here. I think at this point in time, um, unless you're you're going for a gather um, all the treasures run, you're just gonna buy a rocket launcher and shoot the damn TNT. <laughs> but that's interesting. Um, I keep I keep losing my thought here. Um, so yeah, I I ran towards that area. It took forever. So I'm definitely not going to waste our time. It was cool. Some of the audio triggers are there. Um, you'll hear, you'll hear like the enemies shouting at you, sort of like in the spot where they normally would show up and stuff like that. But it's a complete long section, and uh, <laughs> you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It was a, it took a long time on foot. But it was very interesting, though. You know, just exploring that area. It's neat. Okay, I think I soft-locked the game. <laughs> you can hear it, but you can't see it. Okay, well, I can't alt F for it. We're going to have to close it, and then we will launch it again. All right, so we definitely did learn something, and I am going to have to... I'll have to play the game as intended. <laughs> I can see if I can skip that section with Verdugo and uh, just go straight to the trigger and hopefully that'll take me into the next chapter. But okay, well, we learned something. And honestly, that's important. Going to go up the game. There we go. I want to do this, but I'm afraid that it's going to be uh, it's going to be busted. So let me just go ahead and go back to go ahead and go back to this chapter and see what happens if I. Uh, Hit that trigger without pre-shooting the dynamite and if it will work. Because you can only do so much. And it's fine. Anyways, alright. If it works, cool. If not, then, you know, I'll collect the treasure, do this part like normal, and then we will carry on for a little bit longer.
Good thing I didn't save. Okay. Noted, the game does not like that. <laughs> so we're going to have to fight Verdugo. It was worth a shot. And again, uh, we are definitely learning some stuff. So I'm just giving this a little bit of a uh, little bit of some time to make sure that the game is closed properly. It's booting up just now. You should see it on your screen here pretty soon. So let's hope that we don't have any more soft flocks like that because starting the game and starting it back up a couple of times definitely is not something I want to do. Okay, so, all right. Like I was saying, we will play the game as intended. It might be fine if uh, the elevator section was booted up. So that might be something to try. But maybe it might have been fine with now. Uh, well, he's he's active, and speaking about being active, oh, there he is. game, please. Oh, you kid me. Can I get hit from up top? Oh, wow. That's neat. Finally, 
in peace and quiet. My condolences to your master. I was not expecting to get hit on that second story. about you but the audio sounded a little bit weird all right just in case I'm not gonna save Okay. So I am assuming I need to go as far back as to the Salazar section to make the game work again. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Um, well, I guess this is going to be a 0.5 after all. I will pause it right here. And um, I'll just get back to the section on the 0.5 of the video, since that seems to be a pattern. So <laughs> I will see you in the, in, in the next half. <laughs>